Deathlock 3! So, the big question is, what does every shooter game have? Exactly. Weapons. And that's why I add them now. So, back in the day I already made a revolver that had a functioning rotation system, so you would think it would be easy to implement it for the katana. Well, then you are wrong. Because I had to remake every th single thing because the katana was different. I wanted to make a special attack animation and that didn't quite work like I expected because it had to rotate. So my script didn't work and I had to watch many hours of tutorials I had to code many hours and it was actually really hard for me and I nearly thought I wouldn't find a solution but at the end I always do. And so I came to this really good result. But they're still missing something. Because I can rotate, but I can't switch to weapons, so that is what I will do now. So this was way easier to do, because I just had to follow one single tutorial. And switching weapons isn't that hard, you give a weapon a number, and with the scroll wheel you change that number, and with that the weapon. And with that system, that was really easy to make, I achieved this result. So now that we have that, let's implement the attack system. So that virus, that is what I called a challenge. Because I made so many mistakes, there were so many bugs, so many errors, I had to watch so many tutorials, I had to go to so many websites. That was just insane that I could get along with that. That took me like 4 to 5 hours just to make an attack system for a katana. And here is a clip where I just sucked at code and there was such a hilarious bug. Oh, have I finally done it? Oh, please just work. Okay, uh. The katana. Wait. Does it. W wait, where the fuck is it? Why the fuck is it. Wh wait. Yeah. Nice. Sometimes I love Unity. Really. Nice. So, after that hilarious bug, I coded a uh, more and more till I eventually fixed it and I was done with the attic system and this was the actual result. So now that we got the katana, let's add the assault rifle. So my plan was to just modify the revolver to make it shoot multiple times when you hold down the button and give it a new sprite and a new sound and everything. So that is fairly easy, I think. Yeah, it is. Or is it? Yeah, who guessed it? It wasn't. What I did was just go to my old game, then take the code from there, uh, modify it, then there were bugs, then I fixed the bugs, then there were more bugs, more errors, because it was a 3D game, then more errors, I had to fix them, and when I thought I fi fixed them, there were more bugs, more, 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 I had, didn't know what to do, so I... And then it was finally ready. So now, the assault rifle was done. And you thought it was it, just two weapons, but no. I did three small things, maybe you notice it, maybe you don't. So I tell you what I did. So first I added post processing, so the blue reloading bar is more like shiny. Then I added particles and light to the bullets and made a really good 
dashing animation with dashing particles. So yeah, now the game looks fairly better. So thank you for watching, I hope we see us next time.